Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video today is on the success and the failures of my attempts at pollinating flowers to get seed pods so that I can try growing some fells of my own. So this one here is called Sogo Purple and I did two attempts on there and both of them dropped off and died and withered. This one here stayed a little bit longer but I'd been away for six days. I think she got a bit warm in the sun and maybe didn't quite have enough water on the plant. But she's a Sogo so she's kind of got some traits of summer growing. She's going to give me some more blooms and I'll be able to try again but probably not with what I crossed her which, with which is this one here that also has those really roundish kind of shaped flowers and that one's quite unusual. However, this one I did cross, I think, back the other way. I wrote a little tag on them so that I would know. Yeah, so I had done that one with Sogo Purple. And it has formed a pod on the bigger plant. So although I didn't get the cross one way, I have the cross this way. And that particular flower there I decided to leave since it's the last one. Sorry, that's me readjusting myself in the chair. Um, so yeah, that one there I think I did two crosses on and one of them fell off as well. So as long as I have one, and this is how weird and kind of ugly they look. Their petals all dry up. It all swells in the middle there. And that's your pod forming. I must say that you have to be very, very careful because I do get mealybugs on my plants and the mealybugs seem to love the pods even more than they like the um, the flower. And just having a look at this bit here, I am pretty sure that that little white speck there Oh, no, that's alright, it was a bit of fluff didn't want that to be a mealy bug. I'm trying to keep this plant mealy bug free. It's just as easy to use the camera on the phone to inspect it because it will bring things up a little bit better than I can see. And yep, that one there is definitely a mealy bug. Now a dead mealy bug. So that one might have to get another spray with the insecticide. Okay, so one didn't work, one did work on that plant. So over here we have another one that I have in some of my other videos. Now this is a really busy little mini fowl. So this little mini fowl is in a few of my videos with her Keiki. And I've been away for a few days and I've come back and I see that her Keiki has its first root. So she's a busy girl. And I pollinated one of these with another little mini. So there again we have the shriveled up petals. And the ovary of the flower has kind of swollen. And on the back we have not much growing yet. But that should hopefully start to swell up if I keep this plant nice and happy and healthy. Um, that one should be growing. So we have some nice new roots, aerial roots with a good growing tip on there and the actual orchid itself is looking okay or we'll definitely have to make sure that it keeps getting plenty of fertilizer or just the right amount of fertilizer and those are her last two flowers so she is crossed with another little um, purple and white spiked mini so that will be quite interesting to see how that one turns out. Okay, so I also did Cleopatra, which I did Cleopatra, I crossed her by herself. So I took the pollen from this flower here, which I knew would be the first flower to go. But I did them when the flowers were quite young and fresh. And I cross self-pollinated it with this one up here. So again we have that ovary swollen, the petals all drying, and the pod starting to form. So that one is Cleopatra by self. 
So that one was a success. That was the only one on that plant I tried because it was a new plant. First year I'd ever owned it, but who wouldn't want more of those? That's just so cute. Well, I think that's just so cute. Just so beautiful. So to try and keep her away from Mealybug, she stays in my bedroom. Okay, I also decided to, at the last minute, cross this one here with one called Pearl, something, Pearlion, Pearlion, which is another pink one, but it's a much deeper Ceresi colour and it has spots and lines. So this one did actually form one as well. Here's my coffee machine there in the background. So there we go, we have another pod forming there. So a few successes, mostly successes, a couple of failures, and a long time now to get them nine months, eight months left, um, to get them to a mature pod that we can uh, use the seed from. So that's my update on pollinating Phalaenopsis flowers. There's plenty of videos on YouTube that show you how to pick out the pollen from the center of the plant and where to put it on the other flower. Um, you are best to cross pollinate or like at least if you're pollinating from the same plant to take it from a different flower and put it over to another one to pollinate it. So that's my attempt. Thanks very much for watching. Give me the thumbs up if you liked this video. Give me the thumbs down if you didn't. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Have a good day. Bye.